rolled up to Bear Mountain. It's a beautiful day in mid-December. We brought up the world's first smart board, a fully programmable snowboard. It's working for sure. <laughs> this is crazy, man. This is every third Thursday. A chance for us to have some fun in our factory, get creative with board design and materials, just get spontaneous, come up with a theme, and build it. When we were first talking about, well, okay, let's make a snowboard play music, you should be able to listen to your own music, and we should use the snowboard as a controller. Here we are at the secret spot where all the creativity begins. I'm Matt Davis. I am a producer and a programmer um, and a musician. And I use everything to kind of control music. I use video game controllers. I use off-the-shelf MIDI controllers. Um, and now that everything around us can just put out data, um, we can kind of catch that and use it to do whatever we want in music land. Basically, we're turning this phone now into a wireless MIDI controller, which <laughs> Nothing too, too crazy there. This would be carving. Given that this was the prototype um, for how we were going to deal with it in a you know, snowboarding environment, um, this is kind of our first proof of concept. This is compiled into an iPhone application. You can kind of go in here and customize your audio effects. So this is kind of the first template that I'm building, but anyone will kind of be able to build their own audio engine on top of this thing. Crazy. This, is like this, is a, this is amazing. The next challenge was how do we get it into the snowboard? You've got your GPS, your accelerometer, and your Bluetooth chips here, your battery, rechargeable battery, your on off switch, and your LED lights. It's not like we're just strapping on some Christmas lights to a snowboard. Um, you know, we are having a, a very smart device that we programmed to actually manage how the lights uh, should display. You know, very cautious to make sure that we don't want to you know, put too much stuff in the board. We want to keep it, you know, just the, the way you would you know, typically create a snowboard. We don't, we don't want to augment it too much. All right, we got the open source hacker board. If you're a programmer, program whatever you want. Open your app and you're good to go. All right, I just met up with DB Daniel Brown here at Bear. He's riding the smart board today. Are you ready for this? Ready to get smart, man. We've got a fully programmable snowboard. Let's super on it. What do you think? Uh, yeah. It's working for <laughs> sure. This is crazy, man. We brought a splitter and I'm going to mic in to, to this mic so we can all hear it what he's listening to. We got a club banger in the headphones. So fun just following Daniel because I can hear everything that he's doing. I'm not doing those tricks, but I can feel it. So it's like playing a video game. Right on, Every time you do. Anything the bass drops out, yeah. comes back in. And phasers. Yeah. Where's the point where the art starts affecting your, you know, performance on the mountain? like maximize your performance on the run. Or are you trying to make the coolest music possible and it just kind of blends together? Times chasing DB around Bear today on the smart board. That thing is smart. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. Good, <laughs> good job on the board, yeah, man. Thanks, and I could hear it through the headphones. Open source, programmable snowboard. What would you program if you could? The possibilities are endless. 
I mean, I'm laying it up. We can throw the whole thing in the vacuum bag right now. No, no, hold on. Hold on. Go, go, go. Hold on. Here we are, it's a little secret spot. All of our hacker friends are inside. That sounds dumb, hacker friends. It they don't want to be.